what's happening skywalker the jedi here back on another walk enjoying this beautiful weather out here i want to talk about a certain little something today um today i want to talk about how i've noticed um a few patterns over these last few years and um, there seems to be an incredible amount of jealousy towards um, Zack Snyder and his fan base from a lot of these creatives um, and I want to talk a little bit about where that comes from um, I think a huge part of this is um, you know Zack being pretty much hands down the most popular director on the planet right now I mean you could argue it's between him and like Christopher Nolan or whatever but Christopher Nolan's name hasn't been trending almost every day for, for the past few years right you know um, Zach came back from what um, a few people would deem being like you know something unforgivable by you know like having a movie perform um, underperform to studio standards right and get the chance to be able to double back and like re-release um an old movie that you know the studio had taken over which had never happened before right we know that this isn't the first time that a studio had you know interfered with a film and made the outcome much worse i'm sure right but it's the first time that you know they ever doubled back and had to say that they were wrong pretty much right so i think um i think a great deal of this is just jealousy man it's just jealousy you got people who you know swear up and down ah oh, you know he's not that good of a director right they don't see what we see right but you know if they really don't see it, then they're not meant to see it. Zach is a visual storyteller. Probably the best visual storyteller. Maybe in the history of cinema. Right? Who puts, um, you know, a lot of deep concepts in his movies. Right? And it gives you a lot to chew on. Even for, you know, even in scenes and in movies that you wouldn't necessarily think that, you know, you're getting a lesson but you actually are right so um also i think that um you know these people would you know like who like just think about it they would all love to probably you know have all of these fans and stuff to be able to get them in an uproar by just posting a picture right just a 10 second video right you know and being able to cause all this hoopla and getting people excited and talking right like zach's the only director in recent history that i can think of that you know has had that kind of impact right so i tend to just let the birds chirp man you know they don't understand because they don't want to understand you know, they don't understand that, like, Zach is probably one of the best directors in terms of casting as well. You know, even with all the problems and stuff that happened at WB, I mean, they didn't want to recast most of these characters outside of Cyborg, but we understand why that is, right? Ray Fisher um, unearthed a lot of um, injustices that was going on there, right? So that's why they wanted him gone, but... You know, other than that, the casting's pretty much been spot on. And always has been. Right? First time I ever saw Gerard Butler was um, in a Zack Snyder movie. First time I ever saw Michael Fassbender was in a Zack Snyder movie. First time I ever saw Oscar Isaac in a movie was in a Zack Snyder movie. Right, these people may have had projects before that, but obviously 
you know, um, not like big projects that was, you know, like known nationally, right? So, you know, you have to think about these things. You know, got all these people out here that are hating, you know, that used to be writers and they're directors too. And they're, ah, uh, yeah, you know, Zach doesn't know how to tell a good story. I mean, his visuals are, you know. One of my favorite scenes, probably in any movie ever. Everybody talking about how much of a visual, you know, they don't get it. The um, the Superman and Lex scene on top of the on top of the building in the third act of Batman vs Superman. Talk about cinema and the way that the shots are composed, you know. And when the conversation starts, Superman's way over Lex, and he's talking down to him. And then the more Lex talks. The more Superman comes down to his level, then by the end of the conversation, Superman's kneeling the Lex, and then he's the one that flies away. Oh my goodness, just, that's what I mean. And you have people that either don't wanna get this stuff, or, you know, they are, um, how can I say, financially in incentivized to act like they don't know. Look, we are gonna keep pushing this Snyder Cut movement, restore the Snyderverse until it's done. We're also gonna stay promoting Zach's other projects. We're just as excited about that stuff as we are about the others. I mean, his DC stuff is just that you know, there was an injustice here. So it must be made right. That, you know, that's why, you know, we um, seem to hone in on the Snyderverse so much. But, you know, I can't wait to see Rebel Moon. Right? Star Wars broke my heart. I feel like Rebel Moon is going to give me that sci-fi taste that I love so much. You know, like Dune. I love Dune too. We're just we're just not going anywhere, man. And you guys might as well get used to it. You know, but I see what you're doing. You're gonna keep, you know, trying to drive clicks and everything, right? And we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. And then when the Snyder verse is restored, you guys are gonna look stupid. And I will not be resubbing to you guys' channels when you guys come back around. I, I won't do it. I sat here and watched all you guys act funny as soon as um this um a, as well, as soon as the Snyder Cut got announced in May 20th of 2020, right? Ever since then, I always say that's like one of the worst things that could have happened to the fandom was the Snyder Cut actually getting announced because you know then it became about all these uh, agendas right when we were so united and on one accord before that you know but we got the snakes out of the grass and now it's time to keep pushing you know people can say oh nothing's going to change with the merger right we know that's not true the writing's on the wall You know, these are great times that we're living in right now, even though it may not seem like it now, right? But these are great times. There's great times uh, ahead, you know, and the horizon is beautiful, right? The horizon is very beautiful. All we gotta do is just stay the course. Don't let these, you know, um, Manchurian candidates, you know, who 
weaseled their way into the fandom just to turn around and be snakes. Don't let them bog you down. We here. And this is where we're going to stay. But um, I appreciate all y'all checking out the vids. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you get notified when I drop something. You know, we here, man. I'm just, I'm super excited. You know, every time I think about what we got coming and towards this, I almost want to start screaming because I'm super hyped. I'm pumped. I'm excited. And um, I know we're on the right track. We just got to wait it out. All right. Um, so I'm outro. Y'all enjoy. And I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.